You've been lifting weights. You think you're eating right. You follow all the tips you see in quick videos on social media. But ultimately, your muscles aren't growing the way you want them to. What if the way you've been training, the way most people train, is actually slowing down your gains? I'll show you the biggest mistakes, how to identify them, and how to correct them to finally unlock your true muscle growth. Plus, I'll give you tips proven in recent studies for rapid quality muscle gain without gaining extra body fat. Most people are blindly following outdated advice, thinking they need to train harder, eat more, and push to failure every time. But the science? It's telling a completely different story. Today, we're tearing apart the most viral fitness myths from Instagram and TikTok and exposing the truth behind rapid muscle growth. No fluff, no gimmicks, just real science-backed strategies that are actually working in 2025. So if you're tired of wasting time in the gym, this video might change everything. Let's be real. The fitness world loves extremes. From insane volume programs to strange gadgets claiming to double your muscle size overnight, social media has created a circus of misinformation. Everyone's chasing views, not results. If you've ever watched an Instagram reel where someone talks about doing 10,000 reps or straps a bungee cord to their chest mid-workout, just know that's not muscle science, that's performance art. And sadly, it's tricking millions of people into wasting time. But here's the twist. Some of the newest trends actually work when you understand the science behind them. That's what we're diving into next. Because once you separate the BS from the breakthroughs, you'll start training smarter, recovering faster, and growing bigger than ever before. In our first tip, we will talk about what most triggers hypertrophy in our body. You've probably heard the phrase time under tension before, right? But here's what most people miss. It's not just about how long your muscles are working. It's about how intentionally you control the movement. These days, slowing down the tempo, especially during the lowering phase, has become one of the most effective ways to unlock serious hypertrophy. And it's not just a trend, it's backed by solid science. Here's the problem. A lot of guys rush through their reps. They focus on hitting a number, 10, 12, 15, instead of feeling the muscle working throughout the entire range of motion. That's like tapping the gas pedal instead of flooring it. When you slow down your reps, especially during the eccentric lowering part of the lift, you create more microscopic muscle damage. And that's what triggers real growth. Not speed, not momentum, controlled intensity. So if you've been lifting the same weight for weeks and wondering why nothing's changing, Try this, cut your rep speed in half. Focus on a three, four second descent, hold the contraction for a beat, then explode back up. You'll notice the burn is deeper, the pump is harder, and your muscles will have no choice but to grow. It's one of the simplest tweaks and one of the most powerful ones you can make starting today. You know that feeling when your arms suddenly look twice as big during a bicep workout? That insane pump that makes you want to flex in every mirror at the gym? Well, what if I told you there's a way to turn that pump into actual muscle growth? And it doesn't require heavy weights or long workouts. That's exactly what this next trick does. And yes, it looks a little crazy, but it works like magic. In our second tip to unlock muscle growth faster, let's talk about blood flow restriction, or BFR. It's that method where people wrap bands or cuffs around their arms or legs while lifting light weights. Sounds strange, right? But here's the science. By restricting blood flow out of the muscle while still allowing it in, you trap nutrients and oxygen inside the muscle. That creates a metabolic stress so intense, your body reacts as if you just did a brutal heavy lifting session, even though you're using light weight. So why does this matter? Because BFR lets you grow muscle without joint pain, without crazy volume, and even when you're injured or recovering. Start small. Use light dumbbells. Wrap the bands above your biceps, not too tight and do three sets of 15-30 reps with short rest. You'll feel the pump explode, but more importantly, you'll start noticing real size gains in weeks. It's not a gimmick. It's a smart way to shock your muscles into growth using science. Here's something most lifters never even think about. There isn't just one type of muscle growth. That's right. Some guys build thick, dense muscle that makes them strong as hell, while others get that pumped up, swollen look without much real power behind it. Ever wonder why that happens? It all comes down to two different types of hypertrophy, and choosing the right one can change your entire physique. The first is myofibrillar hypertrophy. That's when you grow the actual contractile fibers inside your muscles. This type of training makes you stronger, 
more powerful, and gives your muscles that dense, hard look. On the other hand, there's sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, which increases the fluid and energy storage around the muscle fibers. It's what gives you that balloon-like size and a massive pump, but without as much strength increase. So which one should you train for? Honestly, both. That's the trick most people miss. You can combine lower rep ranges, four six reps, with heavier weights for strength and denser muscles, then switch it up with higher reps, 12, 15, and slower tempo to chase that sarcoplasmic pump. By alternating your focus every few weeks, you stimulate both types of growth. And that's how you build muscle that's not only big, but powerful and long lasting. Now we're on our fourth tip, and this one might hit a nerve, especially if you've ever been told to do half reps to isolate the burn. Let me be clear, partial reps have their place, but if you're constantly skipping full range of motion, you're leaving serious gains on the table. Because science is showing something that influencers often ignore, going deep in your reps recruits way more muscle fibers and triggers way more growth. Here's the deal. When you cut your squats short or skip the bottom of your bench press, you might feel strong, but you're avoiding the hardest and most effective part of the lift. That deep stretch under tension, that's gold for hypertrophy. Studies now show that full ROM training leads to more muscle activation, especially in the stretched position, which signals your body to grow faster. So next time you train, don't just chase the pump, chase the full range. Lower all the way down in your squats. Let the dumbbells stretch your chest at the bottom of a fly. Control every inch of the movement. It's not about ego lifting. It's about giving your muscles the exact kind of stimulus they need to grow from top to bottom, start to finish. To wrap up with our fifth tip, let's bring in something new, something you won't hear in old school gym talk. It's called the TN3 formula, and it's exploding on social media right now. TN3 stands for 10 seconds down, 10 seconds hold, 10 seconds up. Brutal? Yes, but incredibly effective. This technique creates maximum time under tension in just a few reps and forces your muscles to recruit everything they've got. It's the ultimate slow burn method to break through plateaus. Now here's the twist. This isn't just a way to train. It's a test of mental focus. Try it on your last set of any isolation exercise, biceps curls, lateral raises, even leg extensions. By the time you finish two, three reps using 10 and three, your muscles are screaming. This forces adaptation, triggers deep fiber breakdown, and accelerates growth even in advanced lifters. It's trending for a reason, because it works and it doesn't require heavy weights or long sessions. And while everyone focuses on training harder, few are recovering smarter. That's why so many top athletes are now doing 10, 15 minute walks right after their last set. Not a cardio session, a recovery walk. It helps regulate cortisol, improves blood flow, reduces inflammation, and boosts nutrient delivery to the muscles you just trained. Think of it as the cool down that actually accelerates your results. Add this to your post-workout routine and you'll notice your pumps last longer, soreness goes down, and your progress speeds up. Now here's something that's often overlooked. You can have the best training plan in the world, but without the right fuel, nothing grows. Muscle isn't built during your workouts. It's built after, when your body repairs itself. That's why your nutrition and supplementation need to be dialed in. And no, it doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. Start with the basics. Aim for at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight, spread across four or five meals a day. Include lean meats, eggs, Greek yogurt, and a good protein shake when needed. Pair your protein with quality carbs like rice, oats, potatoes, and fruit. These give your body the energy to train hard and recover fast. And don't be afraid of healthy fats. Things like eggs, avocado, and olive oil help regulate hormones that impact your gains directly. Now when it comes to supplements, you only need three essentials. A high-quality whey protein to help hit your daily target, creatine monohydrate, 5G daily, no need to cycle, and a good multivitamin to cover any nutritional gaps. That's it. Forget about overpriced formulas or magic pills. These three, paired with a consistent diet, create the perfect environment for your muscles to grow, recover, and stay strong long-term. At the end of the day, building muscle fast isn't about chasing every new trend. It's about understanding what really works. You've now seen five powerful strategies backed by science and experience, plus one bonus tip that ties it all together. If you apply even just two or three of these starting today, your results will shift. Faster recovery, better pumps, more visible growth. But here's something most people still get wrong. 
They think heavyweights are the only way to get bigger. Truth is, you can trigger insane hypertrophy using lighter weights if you do it the right way. And that's exactly what I show you in the video that's now appearing right here on your screen. So don't miss your next move. Click the video on the left and discover the full strategy for building muscle with light weights, using advanced techniques that shock your muscles into growing.